Mm-hmm. It's like none of the doctors that you go to is like, oh, they're going to just fix your knee, right? They're just going to go in there and scope it out and clean it out. Mm-hmm. They don't talk to you about like, oh, your toe's stuck and you need to just get that loose and then that knee will feel better. Yeah. Yeah, that's actually an interesting kind of point too because I was talking to some of the like development team at Ultra Footwear because they've been around now for, what are they? I think 2010 was when they officially kind of were a brand that was selling. So, you know, they've been around now for 13, 14 years. Yeah. It's like, they they started around like year five six uh some of the kind of the early adopters to their stuff were starting to request more foot shape <laughs> like, yes. or i guess models that have a a more aggressive foot shape so like wides within a foot shape yep. because they had started out and the original model was fine but now their toe splays actually increased like you said yep uh and they just were wanting even more room yet yep and it was, I was a big it, fan of their progression back then because yeah. I, used, I used to have all the shoes hanging on my wall. Uh-huh. So I used to do shoe clinics in my office oh, yeah. back then. Mm-hmm. And they were one of the brands that I would always try to like get people into yeah. because they did have that wider toe box. And uh-huh. yeah, the funny thing is, as they've grown to, they've just reached a wider market where like early on, it was basically people who wanted like pretty aggressive foot shapes. The way I describe it is a foot shape's a foot shape, no matter whether you have a low volume foot or a high volume foot, somewhere yeah. between. But the volume of your foot will maybe dictate how either the rest of the shoe is designed or how much you actually like build out that foot shape design. So they got to a point where in the early days, there would be people who were like, I really like the idea of this, but I have a super low volume foot. And they were kind of the early stages. So they needed something that was a little more foot shape with lower volume in it. So then they start act, adding those options and it's like, okay, now that customer's happy. They have an option. The traditional one's like, why'd you make that shoe? That thing yep. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yep. The, the, the mass market problem. Yeah. Yep. It's like, it's whack-a-mole to some degree. And eventually like you get around just kind of saying like, look, we have a big enough customer base now where our catalog is trying to capture everyone along their stage yep. of natural footwear. And like you may be at an end stage and you want our torn and wide where it's foot shape plus wide yeah. versus someone who's new already has a low volume foot. They may be better off in the Revera or something a little lower volume. So yep. it is funny when you, when you see that though, cause everyone's kind of thinking about this catalog is my catalog. It needs yeah. to have a shoe option for me. I've across the whole thing. Yep. Um, but yeah, no, it's a, I had a Brian Beckstead on the podcast. Who's one of the original founders of ultra. Yeah, I saw that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He's fun, fun to talk to cause he's got the full, the full the scope story, of everything. Yeah. <laughs> he's heard it all. It- 